Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, this is regarding the product tagging for um, Instagram. Um, I don't have a no nice fancy video and stuff like that. I'm just a guy that figured out a solution that worked for me that I'm trying to give to the rest of the community as well for free. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I did to, to make it work for me versus um, something could be different with yours. Um, but I'm just gonna turn, let me see if I can turn my computer, my um, phone around, All right. So um, what I did first was, um, what I did first on my page was um, I deleted everything, everything off Facebook. Um, as far as like um, from business manager, I took the um, uh, Instagram off. I actually switched my Instagram into a uh, personal account. Um, I also uh, went to my actual page. Let me flip this around. I went to my actual page. So when you go to your page, uh, I went to... Excuse me, this is, I'm doing this off memory here. Um, I went to page info and under page info and categories, I changed that to shopping and retail, nothing else. I made it shopping and retail. It was a photography page slash clothing brand, but I took that off and made that shopping and retail. Um, I also um, took off the Shopify attachment to uh, the um, business manager. So I completely took away Shopify. It's almost if as when you connect it with Shopify to begin with, you're not going to, um, you don't really own the rights to your clothing. So I'm gonna show you how I did it and what it did to work for me. Um, but I took everything off, let me flip this around again. I took everything off as far as any page that was connected to my face my um, instagram i took all the instagram accounts off um i also um that's pretty much what i did there uh, i took off the instagram deleted from my account i actually deleted the app too so when i took it back to a personal account i deleted the app off my phone and then i went back and then installed it back on too as well I, and honestly, I followed these directions right here. So I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna turn this around and show you what one guy on Shopify on the um, the form, what he did and it kind of worked for him and it actually kind of worked for me. So most importantly, um, besides that, 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 nah, let me see, let me see schedule. If you, uh, no, this is this not it. Yep, so here, this is it right here. So, uh, I did this right here. Uh, I made sure my Facebook page wasn't connected under any accounts. So I changed the page, took it all off. I made sure my Instagram account is connected under, I uh, did all that, but I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to figure out um, all this stuff as well too. So uh, excuse me right here. Do, 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 do. Make sure it's around page, make sure uh, go to your from settings. Uh, all right, so yeah, I went to Instagram, Facebook page, uh, on setting, uh, on leak my Instagram. So I went to the Facebook page, uh, on leak the Instagram. I'm actually gonna put this too in here. Now, he also has like connect this manager. I didn't do this right here. Um, what I did was I manually added my, my products instead of doing this. But what did work for me was I uh, made sure my Facebook page is connected under accounts, um, pages. I made sh make sure your um, Instagram account is connected under Instagram accounts. Make sure your product is connected. Yeah, I don't even worry about that. Um, <laughs> man, I am trying to figure this all out, man, because this is exactly what worked for me. I converted my Instagram to a personal account. Yep, so I converted my Instagram to a personal account. You go to your padding settings, your page settings, page information, made the category in shopping and retail. Only this, nothing else. So you go to your pages, you change that category and make sure it says shopping via the fixer page under relinks. So uh, once I did that, I went to the fixer page and I relinked the Instagram account back. So when I did that was I followed the prompt. So I uh, uninstalled Instagram from my phone and I added Instagram back. And I, I was already a personal account when I did that. I switched it back to a business account. When I switched it back to the business account, I relinked it back up to my Facebook page. Um, 
And then uh, on the Instagram app settings, I clicked on Facebook page. With, I didn't have to wait, so I actually waited a day and that actually worked. Um, so I'm trying to m gather all this stuff up. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I am really, I really apologize, but I'm really happy to get this thing set up because it is confusing. It is a pain in the ass, but I'm going to copy and paste all this in the link. Um, but most importantly, this is most importantly what I did. I made sure I did can I disconnected it the face the Instagram account from my Facebook page that is I made sure that I um I took away the Shopify from the, my actual Facebook page um, also in Business Manager so I went to Shopify I dis disconnected it from Shopify I um also went made sure that my Instagram account was not connected with my uh, Business Manager page on Spars on my Facebook page. Then once I did all that, I went back to a personal account. When I went back to a personal account, um, I went back to a personal account and then I deleted the app. When I installed the app and then I went from personal account back to a business account. And then for some reason, like what I couldn't get before, um, I couldn't get the link to say, um, it just said you wasn't eligible. But this time it says, um, request a review or try to get it done like basically try to get the approval and then once i saw that i was like okay this can be an opportunity for me to get approved um, but i made sure shopify was not attached i made sure though i also added my product manually versus adding it through shopify once i attached it manually and i got the approval then you go back into shopify and then you can add your categories that way um, me personally I'm just gonna just copy and paste everything from, um, well, actually, to be honest with you, I actually did add it back, the Facebook page to Shopify, once I got the approval. I added the Instagram, because you can now I can actually go, let me show you real quick. Now I can go to my store and go to Instagram, and then now, I'm sorry about that, I thought I turned around. Now, I actually, so let me show you. <clears throat> I can go to my store and I can see uh, my Instagram versus what this was saying, I wasn't eligible. Um, and my product shop, now I can add everything that I have here, and it's actually on my Instagram as well. I can actually add it here as well, um, it, once it shows up, all the products that I have too as well. Um, listen, I hope this helped you. I'm here for help as much as I can, and I can describe this and put this into better words. Um, I just wanted to let you know what I did that worked for me. I'm gonna put this in a product, description uh, not the product description but the description so you can see what i did so um again and this is a headache nobody is helping you and if they are trying to help you they're trying to get money from you which we don't got time as a business to waste money unless you just hey you know what here's 300 dollars to spend and then you know but everybody situation is different because everybody can have a particular thing but it can be different this what worked for me so um Hit me up. Hit me up. That's all I got to say.